Alright guys, so on today's vlog, what I'm gonna do is take a graduated bob that we cut a few haircuts ago, and I'm gonna turn that into a layered bob haircut, which I think you guys will like a lot. Um, it's very usable, salon friendly, here is the end result, so you can see how it kind of stacks up a little bit more in the back. It's a little sleeker, it's not so fat. Uh, it's got the layers around the face. Uh, so it's a nice and sleek look. And the cool thing about this cut and why I want you to hang in there until the very end is that I'm gonna show you through the wet cut, then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you blow dry the wet cut. It's an unfinished bob, it's not dry cut. There's no dry cutting, no texturizing. Uh, so the haircut just, it doesn't, the shape is too much. It's, it's got too much weight build up. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take that away. So that's what I really think you're gonna get from this haircut. So just uh, hang in there, watch till the end. When you get to the end, let me know. I love seeing that. And also, uh, to answer your guys' questions about the mannequin heads, um, I use a mannequin head every day because of the fact that I'm creating a video every day, so it's very hard to find a real model. And I don't wanna use my clients because I don't feel like throwing my clients in videos is really the way I wanna do business. So um, I use the mannequin head. Thank you to Pivot Point for sending me tons of mannequin heads that allow me to do the vlog. They're big supporters of it. And, um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, here we go. We're gonna get started with our step-by-step. -step. All right guys, so we're gonna start off this haircut by taking a right-hand side parting um, down to mid-crown, then across mid-crown and down the parietal ridge. What this is gonna do is give me a little bit of an offset, kind of asymmetrical rectangle on the top of the head. Then I go straight down center back and separate the two sides, clip it away, and now I'm gonna work diagonal forward partings and start my cutting. So I wanna work with the head shape here. The, the whole point of that is I'm collapsing the shape. So we're creating more of a layered bob. This is uh, from a previous haircut where we did a complete horizontal graduated bob. Now we're switching it to a vertical diagonal forward um, layered bob, which is gonna take out a lot of the weight in the haircut. So depending on how your guest wants to wear their hair, uh, there's two different options for you. So just working, bringing everything straight back uh, to the previous section. So I'm working my way across the back, just bringing it back uh, slightly, about an inch back to the previous parting uh, to make my cut. Now I work vertically, so I shift from diagonal forward to vertical when I get to right behind the ear, and I work that all the way back, um, bringing everything straight back to a stationary guide at this point. What this is gonna do is push a ton of weight to the front. So that's something that we're gonna address later in the haircut, but just keep that in mind. When you're over directing something all the way back to a stationary guide, you're gonna have a lot of weight uh, it, as the end result when the hair falls forward. So working diagonal forward, still this the big switch here is that my fingers are now pointing down. On the other side, uh, my fingers were pointing up. The reason for that is it allows me to comb my new hair towards the middle of the head, towards the, the guide. You never, we talked about this over and over again, you never want to uh, comb the guide to the new hair because that shifts the guide from where it lives. And if you do that, you're... Uh, making the guide shorter, which is gonna make one side of your haircut shorter. So to keep consistent, you need to comb the hair the same exact way on both sides of the head. So working vertically, another key thing to, to look at is how the head shape curves up around the crown. That's obviously gonna give us our graduated point. So we, we're layering the hair past the occipital bone, to low crown, and then when we get to the mid crown part, you can see that the elevation of the hair is actually more at a zero degree angle. So that's gonna give us our weight line there. Bringing everything straight back, pushing that weight forward. Just keeping nice clean sections. I'm using the fine teeth of the comb. Uh, that's helping keep more tension on the hair. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple uh, structured haircut. And I think that this is a, a very common haircut that you'll see people doing in the salon. The big thing that I wanna go over in a little bit is how we can kind of make adjustments to that to make it have a more modern feel. So we're gonna go through the back. We're gonna work diagonal back through the crown area. What I wanna do is take and just blend in the crown to the bottom, more around the occipital, high occipital bone area. So I'll take my guide from top of the occipital bone and then just follow it straight up. So keeping that weight line in there, but just blending it uh, a bit. 
everything's being over directed back to that one point so you can see that there's a, a slight bit of over direction coming away from me which is going to push that kind of weight around the corner and it's going to be a little bit longer right behind the ear which i like that feeling so everything's going to come back to that guide it's going to be stationary there so you can see in the bottom uh, left diagram how i kind of angle the haircut so we're cutting short to long just keeping a little bit of extra length in there and you comb everything back until you run out of hair and then you're good to go now we're going to start our blow dry do a flat wrap blow dry and what i want to do is show you guys the what this end result would look like pre um dry hair cutting all right guys so i want to pause the haircut right now the step by step because i want to talk to you about the status of where we're at in this cut this is a haircut that I am constantly seeing all over the place. This kind of half done haircut with the stack in the back, the weight on the sides. What I wanted to do is show you guys what this looks like right now. And then I want to go in and I'm going to do a ton of dry cutting for you guys and show you how to modernize and how to really finish the look. It's not even about making it modern. It's about making it functional um, because there is no way you're going to wear this any other way but this because it's so heavy. So we're going to go through, take out some of the weight, really create a finished look out of this haircut and uh, using those dry cutting techniques. So uh, hopefully you guys will take that from this video and use it. So here we go. Back to the step by step. All right, guys, so we're going to start off in our dry cutting portion of the haircut. I'm going through with my Vibrastrate iron, just polishing out the ends of the haircut. What this is doing is allowing me to see where the weight seems heavy uh, and where we need to go in and just lighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take a horizontal section throughout the side. I already noticed that this side is heavy. The sides are going to be heavy because we overdirected everything back to a stationary guide. So now I want to go through and diffuse the weight. So I go through horizontal elevate the hair as high as I possibly can and just work um, using a Mizutani Puffin dry cutting scissor. Uh, I love this scissor. It's a five and a half inch blade. It goes in nice and deep into the section and just diffuses any uh, weight that's built up that I don't want. So going through horizontally in the back as well, doing the same thing, elevating it nice and high, not trying to take or create a line at this point, just diffusing some of the weight. So what I'll do is I'll take that section, I'll actually look in there and see where the density seems heaviest. And then if, if I see a really dense spot, that's where I'll do most of my point cutting. So I'm not going through there evenly and cutting, I'm going through there and actually visually looking to see where it's really heavy. Heavy. So right there, you can see uh, that part's heavy. So I'm going to go through and diffuse that a little bit. Uh, same thing on the top, work that line out a little bit, go a little bit deeper, just removing that weight, creating that texture uh, and a lot of movement and modernizing the haircut. So same thing here going through, you can see how the ends, you can see light through there. And then as it gets a little bit deeper, there's, it's more dense. So you're just going in there and polishing and removing that. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to actually cut a line, uh, but a nice broken line because I want to create a more side um, angled fringe in the front. Nothing crazy. I'm not trying to create a short bang in the haircut, but just something soft that lays across her cheekbone. So working a diagonal forward section, over directing it to myself, to a stationary guide, but the guide is, is really diffused because we're doing some deep point cutting there. Now going through slide cutting using the same scissor. This is a good look at the Mizutani Puffin. Uh, just going through gliding through the hair. The reason a dry cutting scissor is so good is because the blade is so thick that it has a ton of power when you go in to cut hair. So it can get through pretty much anything and that's what makes it a great dry cutting scissor. So I'm just going through, you can see how I push the top away and then I slide cut and then I pull the top back around. That's because I wanted to almost disconnect the underneath. You don't have to go through and slide cut the entire side of the head. What you wanna do is go in and just um, diffuse the bottom, then push the top over and it makes it look nice and soft. Then I'll go through a little tease cutting, connect it all together. Same thing on the opposite side, just going through slide cutting, just to break up and add that texture into the haircut. I'm always going through and working with my hands. When I move it with my hands, it just allows me to see kind of how it's gonna fall and how that texture is gonna move within the haircut. 
The last thing I'm gonna do, I got my Mizutani Type Z dual texture scissor. So both sides have teeth. Um, and I just go through and glide into the back portion just to add, again, more texture and movement. And then I always blow out the hair to get all those loose hairs out of it um, and to kind of bring life back into the haircut. That's how, that's how I see it. So we're going through. Uh, I've got the Ergo paddle brush working through it. And then I just finish it with a little bit of hairspray. And she is good to go. So I hope you guys like this haircut. If you do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. And thanks for watching. All right, you guys know what to do. If you made it through this video, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this haircut, hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. to see the truth. We had a promise made for hands and men away. Both under influence, we had divine sin to know what to say. Find it.